Hello, welcome to Hard Lore Between Two Furnaces, live at Furnace Fest. How's it going, Bo? It's going really well. I'm so glad. We have some very special guests today. Who do we got? Hello. We've got Matt and Nolan from Kublacon. Hello. He's really good, good at to names. be here. He meets people and he remembers names. Very I can't good, I should probably talk I'm sure to people this. love you. Yeah, yeah. Talking to the mic. No? They say they're sick of me. <laughs> Let me tell you, Matt. Motherfuckers are literally on their hands and knees begging us for you to be on this show. Really? Yes. That's cool, man. They're, All the time. They're upset. I would take it as a compliment for sure. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's badass, it. man. It's it's not even like uh we gotta know. It's just like get them out. You know, it's like a good thing. For yeah, you. that's crazy, man. That's so cool. here we are. Are you giving a, them a taste? Are you a silly guy? Huh? Are you a silly guy? I'm silly. I have my moments, <laughs> as most it. people do. Yeah. yeah. I so true, King. Have <laughs> I have for four years now. We did Warp Tour together, Hard yep. Sway and Kubakan. Yep. We were opposing stages on the same stage. Yeah, White Lightning v Red Dog. Shout out, shout out, Monster Energy, kinda. <laughs> Friends of the show. Friends of the show. I had like two last night. Yeah. Ooh. Last yeah. night. He's still yeah. up. Had a long drive. Had to get here. Okay. Been speaking of driving, long drives in Monster Energy. Dying to talk to you about doing the Warp Tour in a van. Yeah. yeah. And doing merch yourself. Uh huh. Yep. For those of you who don't know, you could play Warp Tour anytime between like 11 a.m. and like 9 p.m. It changes every single day. Sometimes good, sometimes, sometimes bad. Sometimes good, man. sometimes bad. Sometimes you're opening, sometimes you're closing. Closing kind of worse. Oh, it's typically, kind of right? Worse, 100%. Yeah. From what I remember, so we, we were sharing a bus. We would, you know, bus call would be like midnight, 1 a.m. Mm. But so we're hanging out, we're sleeping on the bus. You guys are getting done whenever you're done and, and decide to wrap up merch. Yep. Going to the van, driving all night, yeah. loading in at 8 or 9 a.m. Yep. How the fuck did you do that? Well, like, how difficult was that? Um, you know, we did bring one person actually to help us out, our friend Brendan. Uh, he wasn't like in a, a set position or anything sure. like that. So that helped just having an extra driver. A uh, guy. But like... We had like teams, you know what I mean? Like essentially yeah. like I would be loading the semi every day and stuff like that. And that's the other thing too, you load the semi. Why you, do you do that? So it's kind of like, it's like, okay, all of us on this stage are going to unload oh. everyone's gear for the day. Right. They shouldn't have had to do that. I, two I, bands from every- You should be exempt. Or two people from <laughs> two every. People. If I could yeah. go back and change some things. Thank you. I talked Thank to you. somebody. I, I never I, did it, so I was like, I, hey, <laughs> whatever, man. I no joke. <laughs> I know no, that was good on the on the slight chance that you guys weren't immediately playing after us or vice versa because we seem to play pretty pre or before times. or after yeah, each other yeah. a lot I would remember like being line checking or whatever and seeing I think because and no offense because I can remember Matt because you had the hair at the time you know yeah, yeah. seeing you just carrying shit across, like oh they're leaving because they gotta go because we got a 12 hour drive to Salt Lake or were you offended by them leaving these sons of bitches. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> I no. was offended by it. It was just, it was one of those things because obviously we don't want to get too into the weeds about money or whatever, but you sure. saved a ton of money yep. yeah, doing yeah. that. That's yep. the number one motivation. That So, and, and without, again, but we're talking five figures. You're saving a ton of money. It's a lot of figures. It's a lot, it's of, a figures. lot of figures. I, I More mean, figures than I'm used good, to. Good, good. You know, you're doing six weeks or whatever, not splitting a thousand dollar a day bus. Yeah, that adds yeah. up. Totally. Fast forward sure. to 2022. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are things? <laughs> it's the exact same. We're still, yeah. still it's, running our it's own just merch. Us still four doing, still? It's four of us. Do yeah. all our own driving. Four do all our own shit. Arms yeah. Way does our own merch. James yeah. does our merch. That's well, the that's way to do the it. That's secret. People, people don't know. That you sell that's more merch. Key, man. It is. Do you do merch primarily? Yeah, I, he picked me up from merch, from merch to come do people this. People want to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. You turn that fucking iPad around. Tip. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it's like... It's like the Grassroots Foundation, man. If you're going to buy this shit, like, and I'm not hating on motherfuckers. No, no, no. Can I cuss on here? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Have, <laughs> fuck! You know what I'm saying? They'd have, like, a merch Cock guy. Balls. But I, what's up? Cock balls. Yeah, yeah let's go, dude. Jizz. I already played. I don't care what happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it, I'm not hating on people that, that, that bring a merch guy because, like, whatever. But it's, it's one of those things. You can see these fuckers, man, when they show up, and it's like, that's the dudes in the band. I would be that way, too. I've always used the example, like, I remember going to shows when Barrier Dead came back, and Matt Brusso was sitting there. I'm like, hell fucking yeah, yeah I'm yeah, going to yeah. go up there, dude. Because it's like, I don't know, man. There's this weird thing happening where I feel like people think they don't need to meet their fans. 
And I, I, I don't agree. I don't get it. Wrong we, genre. We were that's just, what I'm saying. We like, were just talking. That's why hardcore is the best. We were just talking about how like you kind of almost reach an age where you're like, wait, I I should just I, I'm just nice. Like I'm just gonna be nice because I'm just nice. Totally. Because one guy ten years ago, fifteen years ago was nice to me. Yeah. And it's like, oh that's yeah, that's it how it's supposed to be. Like, or you remember in that. the inverse. I remember yeah. every motherfucker that was a motherfucker to me. Yeah. And oh, I'll yeah. tell you what. 100%. I also, dead to, me. to what you were speaking about, I think there's also a synergy between, like, we, especially this guy is a maniac, procured this merch lineup. So not only did we, like, put this together, design it in, in whatever capacity. I don't know if you guys design, design. We loaded it. We're folding it. We're selling it. We're moving it. Like... The, the about it being a unit with the band, I think, and as you can attest to, is very attractive. Yeah, it, and it, it builds a stronger unit. Yeah, if you got everybody that's got their position and their niche, you're unbreakable. You know what I'm saying? I like, like that we've a lot. always said for a long time, like, yeah, man, there's tours where we could maybe pull an extra person or we could do this luxury, and it's like, but who gives a shit? Like, we're it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, and like I said, at the end of the day, for as fucked as it might be, like. We have such a smooth system that even a little bit of shake in the calibration will fuck it up. Plus, at the end of the day, like I said, the MO is like, I'd like to go home with more money. I don't want to pay some guy to do fuck all and sit on his balls for half the time while we're the ones still. Because even on Warped, we brought Brendan, and we were still like, when it, with having another guy, we still all had to pull duty. So yep. it's like, if you're already doing it, just do it. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's a thing we talk about, too, is like, not every band. But a lot of bands who just have a, a higher gun merch guy, mm-hmm. they're they're not they're assuming no risk. They're getting and they'll just absolute. walk off because they don't give yeah. a shit you about see them the whole you're show. paying them. You know what I mean? Like so, I, I think you're back. absolutely right. Plus, adding a fifth to a four person band who's sleeping on the floor makes exactly. a weird dynamic. Me, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you don't you don't want to add a fifth wheel to your car. You know what I'm saying? So if true. it's running fine with do? four wheels, you know, just drive you it. Don't need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been saying we should become a motorcycle. Get rid of some of these guys. You know what I'm saying? But nobody listens to the, me, man. That would well, that would do wonders for the gimmick. You know, you two, there, go, there they go. You know, that's it. <laughs> you two, a MacBook, motorcycle sidecar. Yep. All you right. got drums, guitar. You throw a little octave. He shouldn't drive. Pedal. I'll drive. I'll, yeah, drive. I'll be a sidecar. <laughs> a little octave pedal. <laughs> yep. You got the bass covered. Hell yeah. Program drums. You're set. I got the helix. Go. You boys like eating. Yeah, dude, I was, I was eating a quesadilla when I walked up. I saw that. I got cookout. I didn't get cookout. My buddy Chuck from Foreign Hand, shout out, he got me cookout. Oh, Very nice. I heard there's one around here. Yeah. What, do you, what are you into lately? What oh, do I get? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get the, the big cookout tray or whatever it's called with the double-double, and I get two cheese quesadillas with extra sauce because the sauce is what makes it. This man can eat. Sauce is what makes it. You fucking piece of shit. I'm not a sauce Are you a dry boy? I'm a, a, I'm a dry boy. I'm a dry oh, guy. Man. Interview's over, man. Catch up. I'm really, like, and I explained this today, like, I can appreciate that a sauce can complete a thing, but I think if a thing needs it, it's not worth it. It's not true. What's good about the in, thing? In no culinary world is that but true. You're I get where you're coming about from. Gordon Ramsay shit. I'm, I'm saying, talking about fucking uh, Remy from Ratatouille. Here's a brother. perfect example. <laughs> in and out, in and out. You the real eat chef. With or without the spread. <laughs> You can have an In-N-Out burger without their fucking Thousand Islands. That's though. true. It might not be the same, but I'm just saying I enjoy it plenty. Let's talk about Whataburger, because ah, we want to talk about Whataburger. Yeah. Hey, that's a perfect example, though. I'm going to be 100 percent real, and this is blasphemy. They didn't have that spicy ketchup. I've gotten Whataburger before, yeah. and I asked for spicy ketchup, and they don't put it in my bag. And I get home, and I'm like, "What's the fucking point now? Yeah. I got to eat in my this fridge. shit." You know what I mean? Like, in a yeah, you can buy it at Walmart yeah. now. Yeah. But the spicy ketchup, and I love Whataburger. I'm not. I'm not talking shit. I don't want to get burned when I go home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they're but like, for you. dude, it's undeniable that the spicy ketchup is a big deal. They wouldn't be selling it in Walmart and oh, fucking. No. Cases if they didn't. Yeah, they yeah. So, not be in my so we did an episode what. at Whataburger yesterday. Okay. Wow. And it was my yeah. first time eating inside a Whataburger. I've only ever had it as we've explained. One a.m. Where was this? What state? Through. Here. Yeah. Oh wow. They Brand new location. Brand new. They were okay. Still Infiltrating other states. Was there like a line? Even up yet. Was and it, and yeah. I am a firm believer in like In and Out only in California. I don't fuck with it in sure. Texas. No, it's not fair enough. It's not the fair same because it comes from the same farm and has to travel much further. Well, also, we live in cattle country. We didn't need right another burger spot. Right. That's well, you know what I mean. That's we, where you have Whataburger. Yeah, we Get have out. enough of that. The new limited Get edition out, Whataburger <laughs> ketchup, the white one, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. Has the, like, with special the hot sauce, sauce in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good, man. It's you good. don't like it? You no. don't like it? 
I, like, I, I oh had one God. little dip of it, and I was right. like, "It's great." I just like, hey, I'll I like keep it OG <laughs> with the the spicy. You don't just... have to choose, though. I don't know if you know that. Hmm? You don't have to choose. You can what do you both. mean? You can have it all. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Your empire of dirt. <laughs> Given a choice, man, I always, I don't know, I don't even, I've never, I don't think I've ever even had their regular ketchup. Why would? Why you? would you? That's yeah. a why. Yeah. yeah, it's a waste. They probably totally. just fucking. We heard a little. The lore behind the, the lore. numbers on the bottom of the packet. You know about that? Does that matter? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that. Check this out. He's got not. a story. Shout I out. You. I got some. Shout out coming. Nick Stewart taught me this power trip years ago. Okay. Every every one of them packets has a little number on the bottom. One to five. Yep. And it's, they and all it, did. It determines the strength of the vinegar in the packet. So if you get one of them little spicy ketchups, you see a five on the bottom. That's going to be the strongest motherfucker you ever ate in and your life. And we compare it a one to a four. And it was, it was. How do they measure that when they're packaging it? Probably a squirt. They got <laughs> a squirt a, or two. They got a system, brother. You know, <laughs> you know they're. There's just they, a guy at the end just <laughs> <laughs> looking at every single There's one. There's going to be people going through there just picking up, looking at the bottom, trying to find the right I, shit. I, that's what you got to do. do. That's what you got to do. Yeah. I would love to know if that's true or not because it's lore. Hence the. As far as I know, like we need confirmed. to go to Whataburger. Let's pack this shit up. <laughs> Let's go to Whataburger. Re record the entire thing. Are we at 10 minutes, Sean? About 10. I guess we can go to Waterbury now. <laughs> we can make it. Do you have any final thoughts? What's can I ask you a question real Absolutely. quick, too? You said between two furnaces. Yeah. Is that from the between two furnaces? Of course. You guys are funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> That's that, that was this guy. Hey. Hey. He got it. Hey. That's good shit. It's good. Especially for being out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's I didn't mean shit. to cut you off. Though. No, you no, didn't. Not at all. Off. Cut me on, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. What's up? What's next for you guys? Uh, Australia in November. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, which we You've love. Been before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many times? Twice, uh, three, no, I don't three know. times, three times. three times. So this is the fourth. This will be the fourth. Um, we always try and go when it's winter here. Absolutely. Just so it is their summer. Absolutely. It's so awesome. when are you going then? Uh, we we're going like early su- their summer, so like November. Beautiful. Right before Thanksgiving. Oh man, it's gonna be sick, dude. Uh, I've said this on the show before too, but Australia. I bet you for you guys too. For some reason, Australia has like. It's great. Taken off for, uh, for shows are way. awesome. That's, that's so sick. Cool. The shows were the last time we were there was 2019. Yeah, so and I think it's because of Bogans, man. Because all the Bogans, Bogans just yeah, like they love it. Heavy Bogans man. Might. <laughs> we played a you some dog, festival yeah. over there, and I said that on stage. I was like trying to, you know, I was like, hey, I was like, we're just a bunch of Bogans from like the other side of the world, and people were just like. Ugh. They like they, love, they loved, loved it. it. Yeah, because oh, it's like that's a beautiful He's thing. Lingo. Nobody gives props to the Bogans, it's man. It's like if an, uh, if an Australian guy said like I'm a redneck, Mike. Yeah. we'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, hell are. yes, <laughs> come hang out with us. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? It's a wonderful place. A- Australia, friends of the show, big time friends yeah. of the show. Absolutely, they're, I think it. they're number two in, in country on the, the audio downloads for Hard Lord. For Hard Lord. So, so there you go. Perfect. There Shout out Australia, man. We're just dumb cousins of the same place originally. Would love to live there. It's beautiful. I've always said it's it's literally. It's just a giant Texas, man. Yeah. The work ethic, the people, wow. the yeah. land. It literally sure. looks the it fucking looks same. Like Once Texas. you get out of the jungle and shit, yeah. <laughs> there's no jungles in Texas. But, like, yeah. But when you're driving, like, it literally does look like Corpus to Houston or something. Oh, uh, like, 100%. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Question for you. Mm-hmm. Huh. We often say this. San Antonio, something about it, one of the best places to play in the entire Buck country. wild, man. Why? It used to not be that sick. Like, or they had like a dead area. I feel yeah. like, but it's awesome. Post, it, post bitter end. Bitter end was quiet for a bit, and then they they settled down there. Yeah, we did that shit with bitter end. Yeah, they're fucking. And it was they're fucking awesome. Buck wild, Dude, man. I, Such I, a good band. The only time in the entire career of our band that we had a demanded encore. James went to merch. We had to go and get him back from merch because people were like. Please. Like losing their minds. It's, it's the top five city in the in the country. I People ad- just go nuts. Oh, I adore. You want to go there right now? You want to go? go? Hey, I'm gonna, ten minutes. Let's go to the Alamo. Let's go. You know <laughs> we, I mean? we got time. That'd be right. good. They got they got Whataburger in San Antonio. Oh, oh we got yeah. Everywhere. It's like church, man. Beautiful. <laughs> I feel like in in Texas too, that between all the power cities, you got Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, that whole yeah. area, like. Yeah. They're always like strongholds, but there's for sure like it's the same thing, dude. We went back to San Antonio maybe about when COVID kicked back down and yeah, then yeah. we started doing shit again. Yeah. And we were just like, dude, what the fuck? These people are they're hungry, right. dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, and it's kept that same energy the entire time. You know what so I mean? So I love um, when you look at like a routing, when you get a routing and you're like, oh, man. That's going to be good. That's going to be a good yeah. show. Yeah. I oh, love that sure. feeling. Uh-huh. You uh, already know. Yeah. We're uh, outside of Texas. Favorite place to play. In Ooh, Birmingham, Alabama. 
<laughs> Furnace Fest. Furnace Fest. 2022. 12 weeks yeah. from now, somebody's going to be like, damn, that, that's cool. They said Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Florida's always really sick. Yeah. Which um, I live in Florida now. Oh, gee. And I, I, the Texas of the sea. I always take the opportunity because I moved there. Yeah. It's the same thing with the Bogan shit. I like, I'm, I say to everybody in Florida, because I'm proud of it. I love Florida. Yeah. I'm like, hey, we're cool by con from TX. We have a TX at the end of our name. Yeah. But I'm a Florida resident now. <laughs> and, dude, the whole crowd just starts foaming. And I'm like, this is sick. These motherfuckers just support. And they love where they're from. They love their fucking cities. Mm. And it's bad fucking ass. I, I get genuinely emotional for anyone riding just for their city. Oh, it's it's same. These motherfuckers with 818, like, I can't believe it. You know totally. I mean? It's, it's my favorite my, thing. My phone number. Absolutely. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, any place in the You just got to let a motherfucker know, dude. Hey, Northern. Seven. Dude, that, dude that, that was pointed out to me last time we yeah. were there. What's that? Felt, oh, 817. Very yeah. connected. Yeah. Yeah. Fort Worth. Cool. I love, and my dad lives in Lipan. I don't know if you're familiar. That's Sounds like the place on Avatar. <laughs> it might as well be. Dude, that is like, it is just, when I tell people from Texas that, they're like, oh, that's Texas, Texas. Is it down there? Capital T, capital E. <laughs> Do you live on a ranch? Oh, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Any place in the north? Not Florida, I like Philadelphia. Not Philadelphia. Yeah, Eric's Philly's always Philly. pitching, man. It is. And that church is so sick. Church I love that church. Thing, dude, yeah. anywhere you got these these other places that people don't go, Iowa City. Like, yeah, the, the fucking cities. walls, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, uh, what's, uh, God damn it. Fort Wayne was pretty insane, yeah, yeah. actually, last night. Yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah, Indiana um, in general, man, yeah. is sick. Especially, like, southern Indiana, close to Louisville, where, like, Louisville, right. we were talking about, has become... A hot spot. Oh, it's a awesome. New hot spot, hot spot yeah, in yeah. that yeah. whole area. We did Louisville at Portal on this one, and it was just the best Louisville yeah. show we've They're ever really done. It's awesome. just up and up and up. I think that means you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're like, yo, Fort Wayne, best show of tour, that means you made it. That means you know? something for sure. Sweetwater, let's go. <laughs> oh. Sweetwater, who's your rep? Uh, Josie. Josie. Josie's the man. I'm shout a, out Josie. I'm a Tad man myself. I don't know Josie. Shout out Josie. But shout out to Tad. Hit me up. I'm, I lost my left uh, DW9000 pedal in the replacement. <laughs> but, uh, boys, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Man, this was awesome. Have you, gotta have you guys on we'll it. Yeah, this was a fun time. A sure. Thank you for doing Absolutely. this, man. Fuck yeah. Kubicon, Texas. Yep. Come on. Cheers. What more do you need? Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to the boys for joining us. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.